Hello everybody, it's a demo. It's copblock.org. A few days ago, a couple of friends of mine were arrested for trespassing on public property. My friends were issued no trespassing orders from the sheriff because they attempted to ask public officials questions, something the government calls harassment. While freeing our friends from the Cheshire County Jail, I had a chance to ask one of the sheriffs how he felt about his task that day. The sheriff, who I failed to identify, quickly went on the defensive and had this to say. All in a day's work, huh? How do you feel about your work today? Are you going to go home and brag to the wife on how you kick people out of public property? Trespassing and forcing an order of a judge? I mean, does freedom of the press or like... Save it, okay? Save why? Because you don't it. care? Save it for somebody else. Well, then can I stop paying your... Save it for somebody else? Really? This sheriff just pointed out one of the major disconnects with Leo's today. That is, they don't care if the people who pay their salaries are unhappy. What other business can get away with treating its customers this way? Even McDonald's would take any, whether the first or millionth, complaint seriously. And all they do is sell burgers. This guy carries a freaking gun and cages people. Yet he could care less if one or a million of his clients, taxpayers, citizens, or whatever you want to call people, disagree with his work and what he forces people like us to pay for. Well, can I stop paying your salary? Because I'm really kind of sick of it. Oh, great. Well, if you're so poorly paid, why don't you quit and work for people who want to voluntarily pay you? You ever thought of that? Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should move to a place where the government steals from people. Well, I'm uh, going to pay this property tax bill. Mastermind was behind that. I said I really don't. If you count that money, please consider what's uh, going to be done with it. In case you aren't aware, I'd like to give you a few examples. Next week, video journalist Dave Ridley will be imprisoned by your organization. He never harmed anyone. My friend Sam, who's holding the camera here, spent 58 days in prison for doing exactly what he's doing right now, just one floor up. He never... Maybe I can move to an area that has criminalized self-ownership and jails people for believing they have the right to put what they want in their bodies. I'm out here knowing I'm taking a risk of getting arrested. If it happens, you can yell at them, but don't get in their way. Thank you. I bet I could find one of those really bad governments that tells people what to do with their property as if they own it. You can take your silly video, okay? And video whatever you want. Okay, what are you right? leaving here? I'm leaving you a hundred dollar ticket. And Have what's that day. for? That's for the junk couch out here on the lawn. Now, do you, um, does the city own this property? No, they don't. Okay, so how is it that you can expect me to pay for something like that? Did, uh, did I consent explicitly to the city's rules? Or where people enforce victimless crimes by using force on peaceful people. Sir, that's my problem. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get up and get out. You'll be under arrest. Hey, man, what are you guys doing? What the hell, you guys? I won't leave my head on. It's my property. It's my body. I'm not hurting anybody. What are you guys doing? Why don't you act like people? Why don't you treat people like people? What are you doing? Or maybe I can find a place to move that is a militarized police force with public servants who act more like robots than people. Good decision versus Boston. It allowed us to record in public spaces. Sir, look, look where I'm at. I'm outside here. Outside of the building, you're going to record. You come in again, you'll be arrested. But under what order? That's what I'm asking. Can you please tell me what order? When we talk about the Bearcat vehicle, you know, I have to really point out, it's really just a truck. It's a Ford F-550 pickup truck. It's an armored vehicle, and I have to point out, it's armored. It's not armed. You're still going to get the same professional service that we've gotten in this community to the level that we've gotten it from the men and women of the Police Department. There's, there's uh, no protection. A service of... I'm not, I guess I'm not willing to take that stand. I'm not willing to put my job in jeopardy. You're, you're and really my you children in Are you willing to put me in jeopardy? A country that really needs you. That really needs me? Well, this one does because thugs like you keep doing what men in robes say.